get started. I'm just going to share my screen here. And then you can go over a little bit of the, um, the app. So I want to thank everyone for coming. I know that um, we had uh, Walt Disney last time and we're trying to just bring on more, um, you know, guest speakers to kind of shake things up and share what's going on with their COVID experience and their reopening for their, their um, organizations and museums. And we are lucky enough to have um, Jana Henderson on the line today. She's a marketing and public relations manager at the Glen Carr Museum. So I'm going to just share a little bit about their app and like always pass over to her to go into the details so I don't give too much away. Um, so the main focus of this app was a lot on like touring. If you look at it, it's a lot of touring. And then you have the gallery tours, audio and images, which we always stress to people just for, you know, that interactive experience. And then interactive mapping for wayfinding. We have some uh, new offerings. They have the scavenger hunt and discover Glen Karen. And this one specifically is what um, she's going to talk about today, just because it's kind of like their response to COVID. Um, you know, we had had Walt Disney Family Museum on and they had discussed that they were still closed and kind of what they were thinking of doing when they were going to be allowed to reopen. And then we've had um, Louisiana the Governor's Mansion on and they discussed their reopening and how they were going to get rid of docent tours and, and use the app as the main form of touring. So it is a lot of, it's really interesting to see how organizations are adapting and kind of moving forward with these reopenings and, and kind of, um, you know, trying to make the best of a situation that, uh, you know, we hope it's not going to be forever, but we know it's not going to end tomorrow. So, you know, these, these solutions and these digital solutions, they are for a little while going to be quite imperative. Um, and then it also has, you know, just general museum information, information on the surrounding historical district, which is really interesting. I suggest everyone, um, you know, goes and looks at the app. It's actually just a web app, so um, you can get to a really easy, you don't have to download anything. And uh, good information on the district around that and the building, which is really interesting. It's a really beautiful, um, you know, medieval Romanesque architecture building um, built in between uh, 1928 and 1939. So there's a lot of history with that. And you guys also have a very vast collection too, which is really, really cool. So, um, and then also they just have like some school information mixed into the app as well, just for, um, you know, that's a school tour. So just general information. I just wanted to show a screenshot of what that looks like. Um, I also like the how to navigate the tour button because a lot of times um, people aren't always sure. So it's always nice to have that information in there as well of, you know, this is how this is kind of going to work, especially with the new offerings. Um, as you can see, they have the gallery tours, the first floor tours, and then they have the grounds as well, and then the cathedral. Um, so for these gallery tours specifically, I was just saying when um, everyone had gotten on that there's some really, really cool information on the collection. And also this is kind of a lot of times what we tell people to do in terms of um, digitizing this collection is, uh, you know, it might take some time, but it also is kind of worth it in the end because people don't have to, you know, be super close to an artwork or kind of be right next to someone. They can also kind of like take a step back and read a description or listen to something. And it really just kind of helps for that seamless tour and customer journey experience. Um, but it also, especially with COVID, um, you know, kind of helps out. Unfortunately, a lot of people are eliminating docent tours or, um, you know, only doing those once a week. So you kind of see people adapting this way as well in a digitizing collection. You guys have had this prior, but um, it's good you had had it prior because now people can kind of use it going through. And then also that, um, ooh, I had the mapping on here too. So you can just kind of see a little bit of that interactive mapping, which it says temporary closed, but it is no longer. They did reopen. So that's exciting, which um, we'll talk about as well. And then the new offerings, um, again, I don't want to give anything away because I do want to hear it in the words of, of um, the organization itself. But the Discover Glen Carin tour, that one specifically was just created uh, as an address to COVID. So um, you know, not, they said there are only about 25 people can be in the museum right now at a time. So a way to adapt that and still make it an experience for people, maybe as they're waiting to enter, um, is this. And it's actually hidden behind a keypad. So we had had Louisiana Governor's Mansion on, um, you know, earlier when COVID had started. And they too decided that they were going to have people pay for the tour. And in order to do so, they were actually hiding the tour behind a keypad. And once people paid, they would actually receive an email with that code and then they could go to the keypad 
um, type in that code and then access the tour. And this is kind of working the same way. So um, something to think about. And then they also added a photo scavenger hunt tour as well. So these are definitely upgrades to the app that just kind of add that interactive component. Um, I always like people, you know, adding these gamified features and really making these artworks fun and interactive for everyone, especially, you know, younger kids. Um, so I think that this is something that uh, is really kind of a great um, solution, solution to kind of what's going on. And I think that that's um, really going to end up um, working out. So I'm actually going to stop sharing. That's all I have today. Um, I'm going to pass it over to Jenna Henderson, and she's going to just go over, um, you know, the organization, you know, their address to COVID and kind of what, what had happened and how they're using the app now. So I will pass it over to you. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, so we had to close down way back in, it seems like forever ago, but March. Um, and we all worked remotely. We all just kept moving along. Thankfully, we were, um, were lucky enough to have kept our jobs. Um, I know a lot of people weren't, so we felt extremely lucky in that way. Um, but we just, we decided, we all sat down and decided what can we do to make this better for everybody at home. So we did a lot of stuff on social media. Um, we developed these new tours for when we could open. And you can also take them when you can't open. So the scavenger hunt can be done anywhere um, from any place. I mean, it's obviously better to do it on, on the grounds, but um, it still would be fun to do if you were at home and not able to. Um, be in person. So that was great. Um, and yeah, so we just, we were going to do an outdoor gardens tour anyways. Um, that was going to be our new tour for the spring. So then we just decided, okay, let's try and do it with the on sale app and see how that works out. And it was so easy to pick up. Um, like I said before, Lydia was amazing. She answered all of my emails, would have a weekly call with me. So I appreciate all of her help to do that. But um, we also decided that we were gonna pay, we were gonna have people pay for the tours. Um, and so we did hide it behind a keypad. They'll get a confirmation email that will have the code to open it up. Um, and yeah, hopefully, I mean, we, we launched it yesterday, actually. So we've gotten really good feedback so far from um, a couple of the people who took it yesterday. So that was great. We are opening it up to once a day uh, during the week, Monday through, no, nope, Tuesday through Friday, and twice a day on the weekends. Um, and that's because we can only have 25 people in the building at a time. So it's one group of 10. You can have up to 10 in your your pod or how, you know, whoever you're comfortable with. Um, you tour the outside and then you, you're allowed to come in um, from the inside and take a first floor tour of our building. So it also includes the um, ex temporary exhibition that opened up on February 29th and quickly closed on March 7th. So <laughs> that was open for seven whole days. Um, yeah, so it's the only way currently that people can get in there and see our, our secret adornments exhibition, which is um, Egyptian jewelry. So um, what else? We, uh, we have an elevator. Um, but the way that it's set up, it's really small, it's really old, and it's really compact. Um, we didn't feel comfortable using it, so we limited our tour to the first floor. Um, so, you know, we just want people to feel safe and we want them to come and be with their friends, give them something to do. Um, yeah, I don't, yeah. Yeah. It should be, it should be pretty fun. Yeah, and are, so are you guys still, um, did you guys have like docent, um, docent tours? We did. We were, we had tours, um, again, Monday through Friday in the weekends, Tuesday through Friday in the weekends, um, and our docents are all on the older side and um, pretty much volunteers, so we didn't really want to put them in that situation right. to be giving tours, so right. it also helps with that. Yeah, and we had another museum on. Um, a few weeks ago, the Applegate Museum, and they actually, Appleton, Appleton um, and they actually discussed um, 
that they actually had to remove uh, works and kind of adapt their tours and stuff. And, and they had to remove work so that people weren't super close. They kind of did the same as you where um, they had to limit that, you know, their artworks and they actually put um, a whole other separate tour in that where it's like, oh, you know, you can't see these works, but you can see them, you know, in the app digitally. Um, where you guys, do you guys already have those digitized in the app or was that something you would maybe add so that people can see the second floor? Yeah, so we only, uh, we had the cell phone only tour. So it was like, it's a tour that you could take with your flip phone if you have to, if that's what you have. Yeah. So it was only narrated. So we did, I did take the narration from that tour and add it to the new tour with, um, with photos and some videos. So we did adapt it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I like how you guys, um, how you guys know when COVID hit, everyone was kind of having the same conversations of let's all get in a room and figure out how long this is going to be. We don't know when we're going to reopen. And it's right. not like you guys really took, you know, that digital route and tried to try to come up with that solution. So, um, have, so based on like the feedback you've gotten from the app, are you thinking, um, of making any changes on the new tour, anything to edit, or maybe adding any new features or functionality? Um, not for, th not so far for that tour. Um, what we are thinking of doing is our um, second floor galleries are not all um, accessible. So we're thinking of adding um, those galleries to on sale. So if we get someone who is um, challenged and can't physically get into the actual gallery, they can still see um, what everyone else is looking at. And also, you know, hear a narration or listen to when we are able to have Justin's in there. So I thought that was gonna be a really cool way of doing it. We were trying to, I was gonna make a book or, you know, whatever, but then I was like, oh, we can do it on own so this is gonna be great. Right, so. and we're still kind of in the process of testing and Josh, um, correct me if I'm wrong and how far we are on this, on testing out like the 360 photos and stuff. Um, so if you did want someone to kind of get like that real view of the gallery, definitely talk to us about that because I think that, you know, that 360 visual of the room would definitely help in, um, you know, here's that visual and then here's like the artworks you might see there. Um, so I think that might be a, a really good kind of way to review that for them to have the same as everyone else. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, definitely. That sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah that also, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say that, uh, yeah, that's something that it's not quite there yet, but we are closer than we, than we ever have been to, to having it. So hopefully Jane, soon. We are happy to hear too, because I think when we first did like the COVID webinars in March when we started, like a big question we got was, can we do 360 anything? And we were like, not yet, but hopefully soon. And now I'm here telling you we are almost there and I'm very excited about it. Um, so but, I as always, if it is something you have, you know, hosted on, on your website or on any other site, um, you know, talk to us about linking out to it. Cause that's always, always an option too. Yeah. Exactly. That sounds great. Awesome. And then one other question I did have, because I always like to, you know, pick people's brains on the marketing aspects and you actually do the marketing. Um, what are the, I did see on your website, you kind of have the, um, discover the Glencar and tour like right on the front page of your website. Are you guys doing any other things marketing wise to kind of get that, you know, news out there now that the app has that up? Yeah, so we opened to members yesterday for, and we'll do that for a week. Um, and then next Tuesday, we're opening to the public. Um, we are going to do Facebook events and boost those, uh, Instagram. Some of, um, we're going to do, what else for that? Um, I was going to try and do some um, Instagram live videos. Oh. Yeah, so we'll see how it goes. I don't know, all of this stuff I just learned in like the last however many months. Yeah. So, I, I mean, you have to change the whole thing up since everything was, we did a lot of print material and we don't want to mail it. We don't know if it's going to happen. Like we spent a lot of money for our spring tours um, and our spring events on the brochure and then we didn't have them. So yeah, it's just, we just kind of, we're taking us again, taking a step back and just going to say, okay, look, what, what are we going to do? If we'll, it's going to be a test. We'll see how it works. Yeah. We've heard a lot of the, <clears throat> um, the, you know, those multi-touch surfaces and, 
and things like that. Um, we actually have another client, which was a children's museum where like everything was interactive and you touch everything and um, you know, that kind of all had to be updated too. So um, yeah, I definitely, I, I understand, understand on that one. Um, I think yeah. we have, um, a few questions. So uh, Angela is wondering, is the garden tour on the app? The garden tour, we changed it to be the Discover Glen Cairn tour. So the first part of the Discover Glen Cairn tour is outside. And it, it takes you around um, the outside exterior of the buildings. It shows some architecture and the gardens um, and our garden cloister. And then um, once you've completed that, then you go inside and finish your tour in the first floor. So that's the new. Uh, the new that's place. the new Glen Cairn. Yeah, our grounds and um, we we're, we're part of the Bernathan Historic District. It's three buildings: it's Cairnwood Estate, um, Bernathan Cathedral, and Glen Cairn Museum. And our grounds are on six acres, and we're in um, northwest, like northwest of Philly. And they're open from dawn to dusk, so anyone can just roam the grounds. It's beautiful. The gardens are amazing. Um, and it's just sometimes a really good place to just watch the sunset. It's pretty awesome. Um, so those are open all the time. And our, our regular cell phone tour is available during those hours too. So you can do that. Okay. And then we have Jeff too asking, which um, we had touched on a little bit, um, the selling that one tour. Is it just the website or is it on Apple iTunes and the Google store? And it is just, um, just the website, right? For now, yep, we wanted to see how it worked first and then then we'll see about upgrading and going to, the, it's a native, called the native app, is that right? Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Now, let's see, Lydia's telling me stuff. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, so they, they aren't on the Google and um, iTunes store yet. They actually just have the web app. Um, so that's kind of, the key, and the keypad still works that way. So if they are charging for the tour, um, you know, you can still have that keypad in the web app. That's that's uh, totally fine. So as long as you have that code, which they send out once you pay, um, then you're all good. Um, and then, da -da -da. Um, and then someone else is asking, do you have a way to automate sending people an email with their key code necessarily to enter the tour, or um, do you essentially have to do that all manually? So we have. Um we joined up with Fair Harbor, and that's who we sell our tickets through. So we set up um, the ticket prices, we, everything through Fair Harbor, and then we wrote out a confirmation email that everybody gets automatically a day before their tour. Like they'll get a confirmation email saying thanks for you know purchasing your tickets, but then a day before their tour, it will say, "Here's here's the link. This is how you like it, the exact directions are written out." So. Okay, so that's nice. It's it's yeah. great. Um, and then Thomas Dunn, our CEO, actually, who was on the call, um, he's if he signs on the grounds outside to promote the app in any way, since you know. So we have um, on our regular exterior tour, we do have big black metal signs in the ground that have the phone number and the stop number and then we have brochures with the, the on sale app uh, logo the phone number and a map for these tours the scavenger hunt that we did and um the new discover Glen Karen tour we didn't go that big um we kind of wanted to see how it worked first um and so for the scavenger hunt because it's free we just have a huge picture a poster size picture of the scavenger hunt and the QR code and the on the Glencare Museum dot on sale dot com link that they can get to. Um, and then for the new Discover Glencare tour, there is a QR code to get to the main page. Yes, that, that's it right there. But it's on a big poster board in one of our large windows on um, our main entrance. So people can just walk up and, and click their phones, which I didn't know about. Lydia also taught me that. I didn't know how to use a QR code until last week. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> now I just want to click things all everywhere I go. I'm like, where is there one? Hold on, use it now. Um, but the Discover Glen Karen tour, you can also get to from that phone number or from just the on-sale. And I do need to actually, I'm glad you asked this 
question because I do need to go and write if you want to purchase the, this tour please visit this website to purchase it because it's all it's listed so you could get to it um but yeah I need to fix that mm -hmm. good to know <laughs> yeah there you go um I guess the one question I um always ask you know people and it's good Lydia's on the line in case uh, you know, you do now just come up with a, an idea you want to talk to her about. Um, but no, with the the app, you know, the feedback and everything going on, um, do you see, like I know you kind of discussed, you were thinking of maybe doing the native app eventually. Um, are you thinking of any other like updates or any other projects that you kind of want to go with on the app or, um, you know, any big, uh, you know, features or functionalities that you might add in the longer term? Um, I do know that I would love to update the current app that we have um the current exterior tour that we have to have the photos um but i think it's a good way also for, there really are a lot of people that have flip phones which i didn't realize that but a lot of people are calling right now saying can i do this with a flip phone and not which is, i mean they can they just won't see the photos they can hear the narration um we are having a halloween um wizard themed scavenger hunt that will be on the on sale app as well so and that will be free too yeah oh, really cool. that's what we've got coming up so far yeah i feel like you guys kind of have like that perfect theme a little bit for like that yeah so. oh it's like hogwarts it's like being in hogwarts donna we yeah. uh we offer uh, a welcome text for those folks who do dial in okay um, so then they can, oh, yeah. for those who, it, it, we really feel uh, that it's important to keep the accessibility. Accessibility is really a driving force for us. Um, and, you know, the folks that even may have a smartphone, but they're not very good at using it, um, you know, but they probably mastered a phone call. Totally, and, yep. and then they can get that content. But if they do, they only have a flip phone, that's great. And if they do have a smartphone if we send them a nice link saying to unlock more information and then they can get to that and that's where they could go a little deeper and explore more so i visited you guys about maybe six years ago oh fun um it was amazing um it was really uh what a, what a treasure you guys have there yeah we're pretty lucky i get to work in a castle it's pretty amazing <laughs> i was gonna say in Josh, um but, yeah he was i he, i was there that day but i didn't realize that you were there yeah, I was there, uh, what was it, December, I guess. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. excited to, to make it back down there in a more normal time. Um, yeah, right. Try the, the new tours out. Totally, that would be great, I would love that. Um, yeah, I, didn't, I don't think any of us were aware of how much capability OnCell had until I, we were starting to think about updating the cell phone tour. So I dialed the number and I got that OnCell app you know do you want to go to safari thing and i clicked on it and i was like wait this isn't just a cell phone like this is bigger than this so it was really fun to like figure out what we actually really could do well actually that's a good segue this is not about the session today but we have rebranded the company to story i don't know if you oh yeah that. yeah and and so and that was part of the reason is that you know we do over a million tours by a phone um and uh but we we've been doing so much more and offering different functionality and features and a lot of the the old customers the customer has been around for a long time use us only at the dial-in tour and that's the same we get that from everybody like wow i had no idea yeah. so mm -hmm. we, we're so glad that you're able to leverage more yeah. yeah well good i'm glad you did it that's awesome um i did also want to say our schools in the local area are all virtual right now which is one of the reasons why we created the scavenger hunt was because parents are just like going crazy, not having anything to do with their kids. So it's outside. You can take it yourself. Um, we've, we asked people to upload um, photos to social media, which the links are on there that you guys have provided. We just, put, you know, cut and pasted the links in. So they just click it and then post their pictures. So it's um, easy marketing for us because everyone's posting to social media and it gives the parents something to do. So that was a, another big thing for, for us to be able to take care of that this, this spring slash summer. I don't know. What are we all? 
<laughs> so that launched yesterday too. Well, it's all just one big season. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we uh, we have uh, we heard a lot of people like are using the app for like that at home learning. So um, you know, one thing you might even want to consider adding to is like the quizzes and maybe adding like a quiz function. Um, a really good example I tell people to look at it all the time is the Louisiana Governor's Mansion. Their app they are just a really good example of things you can do. Like you said, you didn't you weren't one hundred percent sure of of what you know the app could really do functionality wise. Um, so that might be a good one to kind of look through and just kind of see because. Uh, they kind of use they kind of use everything to be honest. I can't really think of one feature they don't really uh, utilize. So um, might be a good good one for inspiration. But um, yeah, so I think that kind of what you guys are doing is right on the money in terms of you saw the problem and you immediately were like, we need this digital solution. And uh, we did have a lot of people who, when COVID happened, a lot of organizations um, used mainly the phone tour. And when they found out that it was actually an app that they could use even organizationally, that was really important. So it's not just for touring, you can use it just as an organization as a whole, um, just keeping people up to date, event, you know, stuff. So um, it can be really useful in a time like this, I think. But um, I think that's all the questions that we have. I don't know if anyone wants to send in any last minute questions. Um, this one was recorded again, so we're going to put it on uh, the YouTube, I'm going to try and upload it tomorrow, depending on, uh, you know, how fast my Wi-Fi wants to be. Um, and then uh, I thank you so much for, for coming on today, Janet. It was yeah. so Thank you so much. Um, your guys' solution, we've heard it kind of in like two different versions, but it's really nice to see how organizations are really, you know, handling this and um, I think I'm, I'm, and I'm hoping that even when, you know, you're allowed like full capacity again, that you guys will still like, you know, keep making these updates and use it interactively throughout the museum and, uh, definitely keep in contact with us about new features that we're doing. I was actually talking to Lydia today. Um, we have our new platform, the story builder, and you guys would also be a really good candidate, not, um, currently with the pain for the tour, but, um, you know, if you don't have that eventually because you're fully open, um, you know, definitely talk to us about that because uh, the new platform I think has some really decent functionality for you and uh, use it a lot for that touring and audio pieces. And that can really be, it's really smooth in the new builder. And the new oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we have plans of getting iPhone touches and, you know, things that people could actually just take themselves and we can clean later and do things like that. So yeah, that'd be awesome. Can't wait. Yay. <laughs> Uh, on the on the new site, if you've been there, stqry.com, story.com, um, we actually have a new product called Story Fleet. And what that does, you can look at it and read about it, um, but it really helps you manage a small fleet of devices um, for, for rent or for loan. And it, it just takes all the hassle out of it, makes it extremely easy. Um, and here's a little bit of a plug, but we also have something now called Story Collect. Um, which is an online collection software. And for those online, I want to check it out. Um, and also all of our existing Story Apps customers, which is OnSell, um, will uh, have the opportunity to be participate. Uh, it's going to be inclusive um, in Story uh, Guides, which is a portal of all the content. So they're in your area. We work with a lot of uh, museums and historic sites around uh, Philadelphia um, and in your area. And this way, uh, they, they could discover you through the Story Guides app. And then, oh, let's go see, what is this? And boom, and then that, so hopefully that will be a good tool yeah. for folks as we move forward, so. And we did have um, someone just asked the question of what is the Story Builder? The Story Builder is um, that new platform we have. So if you go to our website, stqry.com, you'll actually see the Walt Disney Family Museum example. And that app is specifically um, was built on the new platform. Um, accessibility wise, it's like top notch. And uh, we're trying to get that feature parity with the on and my tours, you know, with those um, like quiz functions and things like that. But uh, right now for touring, that platform is, is really great. So um, yeah, definitely go take a look at the website. Um, thank you again so much, Jan. It was great talking to you. Thank you for sharing your knowledge and congratulations on the reopening. Thank um, you, I thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you again. So thank you, everyone. Stay safe. Bye. Bye.